Hey everybody, welcome to the Outlet Podcast channel. My name is Gazy, and I have a podcast. You can listen to the podcast on uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and a few other forms. Uh, just, it's all in the description below. Uh, here on YouTube, I like to do a number of vlogs, and the, the vlogs I like to do portable like so, because it's uh, pretty easy for me. I got a, I'm a working professional, believe it or not, uh, and there's a lot of stuff that I, I want to talk about. The only time I get to talk about it by myself is on the road again. So, um, today I want to talk about Hideki Anno, his baby, Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'm talking Evangelion, and uh, I can't go back. Okay, so, as I stated in like this series of vlogs, initial episode what I stated was that um, you know anime is a big part of my life and uh, I loved it I and I do love it um, but with Neon Genesis Evangelion I don't want to recreate what I had now I'm not saying anything about the current movies haven't seen the current movies have not so um, I haven't seen the current movie, so I'm not going to say anything currently about Evangelion. Uh, I'm talking about what I what I lived and what I experienced. You guys, Evangelion came at a point in my life where I had a lot of teen angst, and I was looking for community. I don't feel like I ever got it in that type, in that era, or in that in that time frame. I never really got that community because the community I was unaware of and I didn't have the liberty to participate in that community. I wasn't able to go to conventions. I wasn't a I didn't know about um, like forums. I wasn't a forum kid. I, I didn't participate in forums and uh, most of my friends weren't into anime at that time either. Uh, only one was. I love him too. I love him. Uh, and we we would. Uh, it, it was just so small though that we couldn't really um, we couldn't create we couldn't really appreciate the uh, the the fandom the way most of you guys are appreciating it. I couldn't appreciate it back then uh, because I didn't know how big it was. Uh, you know, outside of my influence. So, Evangelion came at that point in time uh, in my life, and uh, um, I, I, I didn't. I'm not the one of the kids. I'm not one of the kids who is gonna harp on Shinji and say how much of a punk Shinji is and whatever. You know, I loved Shinji Ikari. Um, I loved Rei Ayanami and uh, and Asuka Langley Soryu. I love them. I love the dynamic. Um, I, I f was freaked out heavily as most kids were about the with the apocalyptic post-apocalyptic um, uh, Christian uh, dogmatic symbolism. I'm a born again Christian if you've uh, seen my other vlogs and I share my faith but I'm my the faith that I have is so much more than what we have as symbols. I don't carry crosses around, for example. Um, I, you know, I don't carry crosses around. I don't um, harp on early Jewish uh, mysticism, as uh, Evangelion put a lot of uh, uh, Jewish mysticism uh, involved in the sim, sim uh, in the symbolism in the show. <sighs> I, I, so that stuff really freaked me out. And that kind of, um, I mean, that it freaked me out and it drew me in because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Because they're talking about A.T. Fields and um, Lilith and all this stuff, which she doesn't exist. She never existed. That's just a, uh, that's a, that's an apocalypse. That's a, that's like a pseudepigraphal story, uh, a pseudepigraphal person. Uh, Lilith is. She's not canon in the scripture because uh, she never existed. God never created Lilith. Um, my opinions and a lot of other people's opinions. But uh, that 
stuff drew me into Evangelion more, and uh, it it's, it's, it traumatized me. It scared me, and at the same time as it traumatized me and scared me, I uh, I still felt like Shinji. I still felt like this kid who um, who people didn't understand, and. Uh, like, everybody will harp on Shinji for being such a punk and whatever, whatever. The, the fact of the matter is, is that we all have that, we we all, in some way, shape, or form, have that person, that, that type, that care, we all have that, we all carry that, that Shinji Ikari inside of us. So, um, he was one of my favorite characters, Spike Spencer, I saw him, he uh, autographed uh, some DVD, some CDs that I was able to get, and uh, that was really fun. So yeah, um, like, Evangelion was pretty, pretty, pretty heavy. It was really heavy. Uh, it wasn't just any type of mecha. Uh, you know, it had a it had an interesting storyline, and the the deeper you go, the more confused you can get. Uh, that's why I don't even even to some of my friends, my younger friends. Uh, who are into getting into anime and stuff, I don't recommend Evangelion. Um, it is. It is. I am not taking anything away. I think my personal opinion, a Neon Genesis Evangelion, is the number one American anime. As far as, like, anime that uh, is quintessential for every American Japanese anime fan. Evangelion. Neon Genesis Evangelion. That is the number one. And you can throw down your number twos, your Cowboy Bebops, your Trigun. You can throw down um, uh, Lane, Serial Experiments Lane, or uh, Wolf's Reign, Trinity Blood. You can throw down all these other ones, right? But Neon Genesis Evangelion is the, uh, it's number one, in my personal opinion. Um, but even still, um, if you're not... If you don't have a certain je ne sais quoi with the uh, the way you perceive certain things, I, I don't want to recommend Evangelion. So all of this is my number one reason why I don't want to go back. And number two, I can't go back because I can't recreate what I once felt. I don't want to recreate teen angst. I'm 29 years old. I don't want to recreate feelings of... of, of no one understanding me and no one, um, you know, stuff like that. I don't want to, like, that stuff doesn't, like, um, that stuff doesn't fit in with my person right now. So I don't want to go back and spoil the memories, which all leads me to this. Should I watch these, these uh, last few uh, couple of uh, movies that uh, Hideki Anno has uh, pushed out for Evangelion. I will leave that up to the community. I'll leave that up to you. Um, part of me wants to. Part of me is uh, afraid to revisit that. Um, I just want to let uh, let me know. Let me know if I should revisit it. Because um, it was a huge part. I carried a lot of the mangas. Uh, I remember buying Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, Angelic Days. Angelic Days was awesome. It was very, very fun. Um, yeah. Uh, Angelic Days is a really good spin-off story. Um, and that is what I recommend. Uh, that spin-off story is really cool. Um, but just let me know in the comments below. Should I watch these ne these last few Evangelion movies? I don't know. Should I? Uh Comment below, because I do care about your opinion. I want to know. So, you guys can catch me on the various forms of social media in the comments below. And you can listen to my podcast on uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and a few other forms. So, I appreciate you guys. God bless. Connect. Recharge.